honest to god i think my first day at work i went there for the money not because i have passion for the job and i'm sorry to say that i know it's rude but yes you'll be living your good life catch a glimpse from the outside then you see me now see me now see now hi guys welcome back again to my youtube channel if today is your first time here my name is stella if you've not subscribed to my channel please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and if you're a returning subscriber thank you for coming back thank you for supporting your girl i really do appreciate it. so you all know what i do on my channel so in today's video i'm going to be um telling you guys my experience as a healthcare assistant so when i came to uk i came to uk 2018 and i was working with jd sport what well, i used to be a sorter and then to be honest my job was lovely i was enjoying my job but it's just too far from where i live i live here in huddersfield so it was a bit difficult for me um because i used to pay someone i used to go with somebody's car and then i pay um the person weekly when I said I get paid and that was a decent pay and honestly there was not really much things I used to do there I used to work at the last floor so with <laughs> it was just kind of me going for night sleep not like night sleep night class because I would go there and just the whole night I said well, there's really things to do but there was not really much things to do and people don't really like like the spy bar, so I don't like going to the last floor so yeah that was where I used to work and then until my friend introduced me to healthcare job and she was like ah oh, this is a very this job will make you grow in uk and all of that you know and i was like obviously everybody wants to grow you know so um in 2019 i switched i went for training in manchester so i went for my training and the training was just like a class training and they explained to you what healthcare work is uh what healthcare assistants do you know talking so you know when you're listening to something in class is different from practical I mean, I was like, ah, this thing is easy, now I'll do it, and, you know, and then I registered with agency, and my, I t my friend told me, because she's doing it, and, anyway, I'll make another video and tell you guys a different type of care jobs here, she used to work as a domiciliary, is it domiciliary? I don't know how to pronounce it anyway, so I did, after my training, I had to register with an agency, so she told me, tell the agency that you want support, and that was what I told this agency. Agency, I want support work. So, and the agency, yeah, yeah, we have lots of support work, you know. All these agencies, they're just in jail. Um, and yeah, I was like, okay. And then my first shift, they told me, ah, Stella, we have a job in so place, somewhere in Leeds anyway. And I don't live in Leeds, but because they offered me a very big pay, and for some reason, I think nobody wants to go there, but I don't know. All I know is that they were just begging me, and I told them that, ah, that you people just told me now that I didn't know you were supposed to tell me ahead of time. And they were like, oh, if we come and pick you, we'll do this thing. I said, I can't go. And then I don't have a child, just me and my husband. And I told them, I told my husband, in fact, let me just pick the shift. And they said they have it for the week. And I told them, okay, I'll do four shifts. I've not been there. This is my first shift. I was so excited, you know. And the truth is, I said, then they offered me 15 pounds per hour. But me, because... I'm sorry to say this i don't mean to be rude i don't mean to be rude but me it was when they say 15 pounds they didn't just do gang, 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 gang in my ear <laughs> and that was 2019 and that was actually my first shift so i was like hey i will go and uh, you know so and and to be honest <laughs> They came, they picked me. This thing was now somehow like they were so please hurry up, you know all this type of thing they wanted me to cover up the shift and i'm getting there I noticed this is my first shift and the people that told me about support work was not really what they I was seeing in you know Obviously I entered I noticed they were like okay bye bye we don't the handover there's this guy there and I I noticed it was really like elderly women and men I already and when I was going for this shift you need to see my dressing <laughs> You know, my first day at work, you dress, you wear your shoes, you wear all those your trainers, do all those things, thinking <laughs> you're going there to go and chill. Because as a sport worker, I was told that you don't do anything, to, to be honest. Anyway, I'm going to share, I'm going to say, explain to you guys that one, that aspect. So me, after my all my dressing, I'm not going to lie to you guys. You know, there's some care homes that are really bad. That's why we have CQC. That's why sometimes you see they close down care homes. I mean, like, enter that place, eh? That place was thinking. I'm sorry to say, I don't mean to be rude. The place was, mm. I was like, I don't enter one chance. And then the next minute, all the staff left. It was just me and one guy. And the next minute, what I saw, I was like, oh, my mom, please call my mom. I was like, what is happening? You know, for me, this is my first time, first experience, and I did not know what these people are doing. And everybody was lascive. I don't want to say it was a dementia home. You know, dementia, you don't know what you're doing. You're totally like, 
your brain is upside down you know because mm -hmm. i don't want to use uh i don't want to use another type of word for this so you don't know what you're doing they're all turning on their own you know their brain is just everybody was screaming buzz that was bim 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 i say what is this and i told that guy i don't understand you so that i told him i want support and to be honest that they are so lucky this guy is from nigeria he's edo i told this guy i can't do this work and to be honest i'm not lying to you my first day at work the next guy beside me did it did it i just started, he started winning ah at that moment tears i started crying I said I cannot do this job. That's why I told that guy I am leaving. At that moment, I called my husband. I told him, and my husband said, "Jesus," because so, he told him just go text him and come back home. And you know, I don't really know how the system works that time. I was just like, "No, I'm going." And I called my friend. I told her that I, I, he did not tell him this is how this job is. She not said, "No, did you tell them he support?" I say, "I told them he support." You know, I was just angry. I needed somewhere to you know put my annoyance, my anger. I was just angry and she said ah oh god why did they do this to you and all of that i was so upset honestly speaking i was like hey god where will i start and then i told this guy i can't do this job i cannot the guy told me please don't go because we're meant to be three and a nurse that's four and i realized that the third person did not show up so it wasn't just me and this guy and the home is was big it was about like 15 clients 15 or yeah 15 around 15 clients even the 15 although they are 15 clients but like let me just say like five can take care of themselves do everything but like 10 are the psycho psycho you know and i was like hey i told this guy i cannot do this work i can't do this job and the nurse i was supposed to be on shift she was like she's running late that she's going to come late and posts are everywhere like the thing was just you know i was just trying to understand and honestly i was just standing crying and my husband called me again i told him that i would if i that I might come back because the guy was already controlling telling me just relax i'll do everything this guy eh? i said even after that work i was just calling him i became friend but for some reason we lost contact because we didn't work and this guy this guy in fact let me just say this guy started i started to shadow the guy the guy started explaining to me that hey my sister this is how it works here that he has been to italy he started just see me how he enters ship <laughs> you know cross the red cross cross the red sea i've been mean, a blue sea or the sea crossable he entered italy the way he suffered oh what this guy told me his history eh? we end up just you know me i did not go home again <laughs> they talked me that me that was even crying i did not cry hey if i asked me you know how to swim you know the guy said make me feel at home so what i was doing is that oh well, this place was these people i don't know they're always short of staff so what i did that day was i was just holding the back for the guy the guy would not change the client so basically you're supposed to do personal care and you know clean the place and all of that but i don't know when i said i did not really <laughs> I was not thinking about all this and I didn't know this is what I was going for. Like I told you guys, my first job was not really a uh, care job. So I did not know this was what I signed for. And the guy was not making the job like, not like making the, already I don't really like what I was doing at that one. But, but because of his conversation, just, this guy did everything that night. From 8 o'clock till 8 in the morning, I did not do nothing. Because he told me I'm not going to do anything that is going to do everything for me. And this guy is so strong. So me the only thing i was doing i'll just hold the bag he'll do personal care put it inside i'll tie the bag i'll follow him we'll go to this room go to this room and later i'll go for sit down in the lounge if anybody boss again we'll go to the room they'll be like oh my bag please massage my bag please help me the guy will be like oh let me just for example i think this guy is into this job for ages for a long time and he knows what he's doing and he's passionate for of the job like he loves the job you know what he's doing and but, he was really good the truth is that he was really good and this job you need to be you need to know what you want are you are you going for the money are you for to be honest i think my first day at work i was going for the money because yes i think i was just going for money i didn't know what i signed for that's just the truth and this guy would massage them and be like let me just for example if it's for be like poor relax just calm down and all of that and this someone you meet they'll be like i'm sorry that i'm disturbing you just that i'm not feeling too well my back is aching you know all these elderly people and to be honest i've never taken care of my grandparents so i don't even know how it feels like you know for grandparent while and all of that and in fact growing up i've never taken care of anyone i uh, finished school got married came to the uk so you see all this was just new to me so this guy was just so good and and he'll be telling them you know he'll be just sitting with them you know consoling them giving them hope even though <laughs> 
you know there's no hope but you know tell me you get better you know ha ah, god and at that moment i was just praying he showed me another person another client with end of life i said god which one is end of life meaning end of life that means they can die and i said what is this end of life i was just praying that nobody should die that night that was my prayer and the guy was like ah me i don't see people who don't die that he has like he has seen lots of clients that passed away that have died and all of that but me i've not seen dead I've not seen like you know go somewhere and say this person just die it was just difficult for me i've not really seen a proper dead body like elderly dead body like that i don't know how to put it anyway but and uh, i was just praying to god that nobody should die that night because that guy just looked as if all this is just nothing if somebody died last life you call 911 tell them some i don't even understand he was just not really um worried about anybody dying because he has he has been in the system for ages and that night was something else and to make the matter was i picked this sheet four i told the guy that i picked the sheet four he told me he's working three days and those three days ah i think the last i told him what am i going to do because i was i don't know if if you accept the contract if like if you accept the sheet if you can cancel i'm still new like i said and he said um come the three days i should come for the three shift that he's going to do everything just like the way we did today because if after we finish everything any person they, they usually in the rooms if anybody needs assistance or anything they press the buzzer uh, they ring you direct us to the room that we're going to when we're done they'll go back to the lounge maybe we just press one or if you bring any food to eat and all of that but honest to god that home was not that was home was not like a broad home they really I, I don't even know if the home is closed up by now because Sometimes they do do check in and all this stuff. You see, they be like it's not up to standard. They close them because they were so short of staff. So many things I need doing. That guy is so strong. He clean, clean. Ah, uh, you see the guy. I'm going to tell you this guy is from Nigeria. He's from Edo. Ah, uh, that guy is correct guy. Very so hard working and he don't really care whether because I was just saying that no, he was just encouraging me, motivating me, saying this thing. Just look at them like your parents. You know, see them. Ah, uh, when I after working with that guy, I went home. I like I was like God. I think God sent that guy to me. So that's why I say, if you're if you're thinking of becoming a carer or healthcare assistant, to be honest, just expect anything, expect anything, like anything. For me, anytime I see like I don't know how to put it, like maybe home vomit, I used to feel ill, you know, stuff like that. But once you're as a carer, you can just expect anything. You can see any kind of thing. So if you think you cannot do it, then I don't know. But for me, after the first day, second day. He was just telling me this is what you do, this is what you do, this is what you do, this is what you do. And then the third day I beginning to even and like I said, the first day I entered that home it was the smell, but after the third day you I, I don't know, for some reason I feel like maybe my nose was now used to the smell of the home. So I think my nose was got used to the smell of the home, honest to God. So the third day was not really I, I'm getting to know their name, Paul James, you know, like, hi, hi, I was like, hello, 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 cup of tea, cup of tea. And that was it. After that shift, I didn't go there again. So I'm talking to you guys till today. Because that was the last day, that was the day the guy said he was not going to work till the next week. And I told them, and I picked four shifts. And when they come in, they even offer, I can't remember if they increased the offer because that was not their rate, but because they needed someone to cover up the shift. And they don't care. I told them, I told you guys, I want support. Do you understand? <laughs> And they were begging me. I said, I'm not going there again. Up to today, I've not been there. I don't even know if they still ex if they still work. Because for some reason, I feel that home should be closed. Because they're always short of staff. The home is not really like, you know, it's not really well maintained. So, yeah, my experience was a horrible experience. So, if you're looking going to, into going to a, um, a care home, or you just have to be prepared. Prepare your mind for anything. Prepare your mind for the worst because you can see anything. When I mean you can see anything, trust me, <laughs> you can see anything. Because I explained to you guys, I've told you guys my experience, the house crying and all of that. My experience was not it at all. But anyway, it's worth doing. It's worth it to be honest. Because if you are, uh, if you are, if they are your grandparents, I think you should take care of them and you should. You, so just anyway if they're a grandpa you you will not be like oh ill and all of that you won't be doing all of that so it's worth doing but i'm still going to be sharing with you guys more videos on different type of care and 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 working with agency i'm going to still be giving you guys update and things are happening in care and all of that i'm still going to be giving you guys update on that but we've come to the end of today's video i don't want to talk too much if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like subscribe and share i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys